guys and welcome to a video about how uh, you get this Thrustmaster USB joystick to work with the brand new flight simulator. So I've had a few questions uh, from you guys saying it, apparently it doesn't work. Now, I'm not totally sure why that is to be honest, but uh, basically this is my, kind of my suggestions really. So first of all, just, just plug it in really before you start the game. That's kind of one of the most important things. It will work if you plug it in during the game, but... Uh, just on the safe side, it's, it's it's it is better if you plug it in before starting the game. So just plug it in, and you should hear that sound. There we go, and that's it. It is now plugged in. Now, unlike um, unlike joystick, no, unlike Logitech things uh, that need a Logitech gaming software, Thrustmaster products. At least at least this one, I've been on their website and clicked on uh, this product. It does not need any kind of external software to use it. So that, that that isn't the problem. There is no there is no Thrustmaster gaming software of any kind, uh, at least for this joystick. I, I had a look on their website. I clicked on this thing and I, I clicked on software, and under there there was nothing. So there's nothing you need to install. It, it should just work well. So I'll get into the game now, and I'll show you guys how it works. There. Now we're in the game. I can show you guys. We head to options. And then we click on controls, and you should see here, like in my other video about sensitivity, USB game controllers. That's literally what it's called. It's not recognised by the game, so that's just what it's called. Um, in case you guys were wondering, um, and that should work. Uh, now, if it doesn't work, one thing I can suggest is, um, well, maybe restarting your PC if it's happened only once or something. Also, the most important thing. Try a different USB port. Sometimes on a computer, a USB port will break. It won't work. Whatever. I don't know. Um, but it's always a great idea just to test uh, to make sure it is in the correct USB port. And, of course, that you're using the correct wire. I know it sounds stupid, but you might accidentally be plugging in something else. So just, just kind of check it, really. Um... But yeah, that, that's, that's kind of the only thing I can kind of suggest as to it not working. Again, yeah, it shows up as a USB game controller, um, which is maybe why you think it, it doesn't work. And also, I think you have to map the buttons by yourself. You have to map the axes by yourself as well. Um, one important thing to note, um, because because this game, this controller isn't recognised by the game. So say I wanted the, the ailerons axes, look, I had to map that myself. Um, I, I wasn't able, you know, if I switch over to the default profile, look, nothing's mapped. Nothing. Nothing's mapped at all. You have to make your own profile and, and start mapping buttons. So to do that, you click on the one that you want to map, so Aileron's axes, for example. You click on it, and then you move the axes that you want. Uh, in my case, this one here. So, and then you click validate. So that, that's kind of a little bit of help. Actually, there's one thing, one certain solution. If you guys thinking it's not working you do have to make your own um controls because as i said this uh, unfortunately this <coughs> this particular joystick is not recognized by the majority um it's not recognized by the game you have to physically put in your own things so that's definitely something before, before you start restarting your pc or anything like that just making sure that you were basically know how to work no, you know that you've you've mapped your own custom buttons because it, it is quite important with it, really. Uh, you know, obviously the other the other sort of buttons are mapped as is, but all of mine, all of these, I have I have had to custom map um, myself. But anyway, guys, I hope you found this useful, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.